Welcome back to Bad X Bourbon. I'm Bobby. I got something super special in store for you today. A couple weeks ago, I started a series at $30 or less bourbon whiskeys, right? And we get some and let's give her a taste. It had to be one that I hadn't had before too, right? So let's see if it's worth the 30 bucks or less than 30 bucks and see if it belongs on the bottom shelf, see if it needs to move up a shelf, in my opinion, all right? So, I got this. I'm looking, nothing's catching my eye, okay? And I look directly at the bottom shelf, I see this big old bottle right there. I'm like, dang, I've never noticed that one before. I generally don't look at the bottom shelf, to be honest. But, I look down there, and I see this 1.7 milliliter bottle, and underneath it was the price. The short story is, after I paid for it, it was $17.61. For this, 1.75 milliliter bottle of 10 high, baby, 10 high. 10 high, after doing some research, 10 high got its name from the Ricks in the Rick house, uh, or at least 10 high, where the barrels were. So that's, that's where it was. It was that simple, actually. This used to be a straight burger whiskey, now it's a whiskey blend. So I looked at this and I said, you know what? This looks like about everything I probably don't like about whiskey, all in one bottle. So it's kind of cheap looking. I, I like the price, it's the only thing I like. So, so it's a bourbon blend. So that means that it's gotta be 51% straight bourbon whiskey. Just like the mash bill, to be called a bourbon, it's gotta be 51% corn. I think you're playing with that a little bit. So, it's a sour mash too. I don't generally like sour mash. Generally, I'm not, that's not 100%, but generally don't. Plastic bottle, screw top, plastic screw top, gigantic. Little history on it, started out in Peoria, Illinois. 1933-ish, right after Prohibition. Went through some hard times in 1960-ish. Moved out of there in 1973, I believe, to Kentucky, owned by Barton. So, and Barton's owned by Sazerac now. So this is in Kentucky now, this right here. So I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time on this. I'm gonna get straight to it on this one. That was just a little background on this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it's worth the $17.00 the 91 cents, all right? Let's do it. All right. Get my Glenn here. <laughs> oh, it's got one of those uh, non-spilly, splashy things right there. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's uh, really light really light and on the bottle here it says it's kept in the uh, barrels for at least three years at least three years okay all right that's what the bottle I'm just telling you what the bottle says we swirl this around a little bit Ooh. there's nothing really I mean it's and it's 80 proof. That's another thing I don't like about it. It's only 80 proof. Not 100% of the time am I bagging on 80 proof. I had that son of a bourbon the other day from Napa Valley Distillery. That was really good, actually, really good. But it has must have some rice bias in it or something, though. There's not a lot on the nose. There's almost nothing. Really weak. I can see through the bottle. All right, I'm going for the palate. Ooh. Not a bunch of burn, it's very, very light. Not viscous at all. Oh man, oh. Nothing really on the nose, like I said, but now, this is deserving of that price tag of $17.91 for that 1.75 milliliter. It's uh, now it's getting, hold on, let me get a second sip, hopefully it gets better. 
No. Other than it being very light, it's not good at all. That tastes like they poured a little, little bit of ethanol to an old teenage boy's dirty gym sock after football practice. That is not good at all. Wow. Oh, God, I'm out. No. Hey, I'm going to give. You know what? I got. I might go negative axes on this one. I'll go. I guess I have to go one. You know what? I got. I got. I got zero axes on this one. That is a C wrap. That is bad. Really bad. Not good at all. Not good. Who? Who? Man. Not good. Okay. I'm done with that one. I had to throw that in there real quick. I saw that thing. Don't buy it. Do not buy it. I don't even know if I'll put it in a mixed drink. It is not good. Not good at all. All right. That's it for this one. Now spending more minutes on that not good at all bourbon. And what do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is a bad ax. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Until next time.